Hi, my name is Blake Bratcher and I am the trust officer at Texas Partners Bank. And today I'm gonna to talk with you about trusts. A trust is basically a fiduciary arrangement that specifies how your assets will be distributed at the time of your passing, usually without the involvement of a probate court. Unlike a will, a trust isn't subject to public scrutiny and can be arranged to accomplish a variety of different goals. The true appeal of a trust is the ability to control how your assets are managed both during and after your lifetime. This feature tends to be particularly appealing for people with special circumstances, such as those who are caring for a child or family member with special needs, or managing succession planning for a closely held business. A trust even allows you to specify certain conditions that must be met in order for a transfer of assets to be completed. So why is it important to have a trust? Well, trusts can be useful to do things like avoid the probate process, reduce estate taxes, maintain control over your assets, plan for the worst case scenarios, provide for loved ones with special needs. As you begin estate planning, you may realize that certain assets are more difficult than others to split up among your beneficiaries. Trusts are one way to designate how more complex assets will be distributed after your death. For example, if you have a family business that needs to be split up or a vacation home that you don't want to leave to just one person, trusts can be a good way to do that. While no one wants to think about the worst case scenario, life can sometimes get in the way. Estate planning is a crucial step in protecting yourself and your loved ones in the event you are unable to make decisions near the end of your life. Trusts can help ensure your loved ones are taken care of in the event you become incapacitated. So what are the steps to create a trust? It depends on the type of trust that is, but it all starts with talking with an estate planning attorney. A trust is a legal document drafted by an attorney, and just as you would name your son or daughter to be trustee or executor to be in charge of your trust and estate, you can also name a corporate fiduciary to manage it, and that's me. This makes it so that you don't have to favor one child over another or put emotional strain on your family to manage the trust. A corporate trustee mitigates all of that. Being an individual trustee is a hard job. It involves a lot of accounting and tax reporting, financial management uh, that needs to be done. Having a corporate fiduciary is a good way to not burden your family members with that kind of responsibility. So if any of this is of interest to you or you have any questions, let's talk. My information is below.